Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Today we are going to look at Kaspersky Security Center. So today's topic is how to install Kaspersky Security Center version 12, which is well, newly released. It's not very old and I'm recording this tutorial. So to begin with, what we are going to do is we need to first of all look at the system requirements. Of course, um, there are certain set of hardware requirements which needs to be fulfilled. CPU, RAM should be 4 GB or more. 10 uh, gig of disk space operating system can be Windows 7 or higher, but of course Windows 7 is already out of support. So we don't recommend to go with Windows 7 or 2012 even because 2012 is also uh, end of life. So we always prefer to go with the latest operating system. So in my case, I would go with 2019 um, server edition. Um, for softwares, additional software, which would what we need are basically MDAC, which is Microsoft Data Access Components, Microsoft Windows DAC 6.0, Microsoft Windows Installer 4.5. These are already pre-built in the package also, if any one of them is missing. Databases, we can install MS SQL 2014 or higher, or we can go with MySQL 5.7 or MariaDB 10.3 also. Um, further details, if you want to look into the system requirements can be found at support.kaspersky.com and the link is given over here. Um, I'm not getting into that link and showing you all the requirements, but these are the system requirements which we need. Um, steps to follow what we are going to do is we are going to install a database. In my case, I have already installed MSSQL Express Edition, uh, which can be found over here on this link. You can find the tutorial for how to install MS SQL Express Edition or any MS SQL uh, you wish to install. And then the next step would be we are going to download and install the Kaspersky Security Center. In my case, I have already downloaded uh, Kaspersky Security Center, but I would show you from where you can download uh, System Center or Security Center from Kaspersky website. So let's start hands on uh, in our lab. So this is my machine. Of course, as I said that, first of all, I'll tell you how you can download Kaspersky Security Center. In order to download it, you just need to simply go to https support.kaspersky.com. In here you have for business. In here for business, you can find out administration server and security center 12 is available over here. So you can simply just go in this link. And you know, here you have link to download Kaspersky Security Center full version 12.2 is the latest to the date when I'm recording this tutorial. Um, you can also download web console separately or administration server console uh, installer separately also. But I have downloaded the full version already, which is available over here. So what I'm going to do as a first step, I'm going to run it as run as an administrator. But before that, just to let you know, if you see over here, my SQL Express Edition is installed, 2017 version, and my admin studio is also installed. And just to show you, Currently, I do not have any database for Kaspersky's uh, already running. So my database, if you see, I do not have Kaspersky database over here, but we are going to work on it. So I'm going to run the setup now. The first step, what it will do is to run this small console. And with this console, we have option to install only Kaspersky Security Center 12 installation console, or I can install only Kaspersky Security Center 12 network agent. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on install Kaspersky Security Center 12. So 
so on the first visit it welcome screen i am going to click on next dotnet framework is already installed and activated i am going to click on next i will confirm the license agreement and privacy policy and i'll click on next now it's up to me whether i want to go for standard edition or custom edition i will choose custom because i already have my uh Kaspers, i have sql server installed even though let's go with standard edition and get started with it so it will say that do you would you would like to install Kaspers security center 12 web console also of course i'm going to install it i'm going to go with the default procedure um, this is fewer than 100 network devices because it's a test lab and I do not have much number of machines so I'm going to select this one next so it says select the type of DB MS to which you want to connect administration server a database will be created for the selected DBMs during the uh, during latest steps of the installation so I'm going to click on this and click next now it will ask me to specify my um, SQL server and you see you can download SQL server SP2 recommended or another supported version from this website um, it used to be part of the installation but not anymore so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply connect to my SQL server in my case it's a local server I'll try to browse it Provided my browser service is enabled, it should automatically discover it. Yes, and I'm going to click on next. Uh, Windows authentication mode, I'll go with the default Windows authentication mode. If you want to use SQL server authentication mode, and that's up to you, you would need to provide relevant credentials. I'm going to go next and install. So if you see over here, Windows installer to 4.5 is already there. That's why it says it has already checked. And now it is installing Kaspersky Security Center 12 administration server. Then it will install plugin for Microsoft Exchange, ActiveSync, iOS mobile device management plugin, and Kaspersky Security Center web console at the end of it. It's a straightforward procedure. There's nothing much which, which we need to do. The only thing is now with the latest version, we just need to install MS SQL separately. Otherwise it used to be part of the installer and it used to get installed with Kaspersky Security Center earlier, but not anymore. So you need to manually install um, Kaspers, uh, SQL Server before installation of uh, administration server. As it is installing, uh, let's go over here and see if it has already created the database for me or not. So if you see over here, it has already created Kaspersky antivirus database, which it named uh, while we were uh, coming use uh, while we were running through the wizard for installation. So Kaspersky Security Center 12 administration server is installed. Plugin for Windows, uh, Microsoft Exchange ActiveSync is installed. iOS mobile device management plugin is also installed. Now it is just installing Kaspersky Security Center web console and it will be removing the unnecessary files which are like kind of a cleanup after the installation wizard. So now you can run Kaspersky Security Center 12 web console or MMC both. So I'll run both just to show you how both look like and we are done with our installation. Normally web console uh, by default works on port 8080. And if you see over here, administration server issued its certificate, I'm going to click on yes. And I'm going to just cancel this getting started visit quick start guide. We don't need that. 
um, quick start visit I'm going to cancel that and if you see now my Kaspersky security center version 12 is installed uh, we will look into it later how we can proceed with the further configuration of this and this is my web control of Kaspersky I just need to log in uh, to this I normally prefer to use Chrome or Opera for this purpose so I'm just going to use Google Chrome and I will log in into it and we are in so um, as soon as I have logged into web console you see now I've got choose your tutorial scenario of course I'm not going to use this and we look into it at the later stage how we can configure further after installation of Kaspersky Security Center version 12. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.